Hello and welcome to a new video about my MQTT motor controller. Really a complex thing. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, really a complex thing. Uh, I want to do a stop signal, yeah, and I want to have, uh, I want to have uh, a ramp that the speed is not changing a now. Yeah, the speed is changing in a ramp. All right. So I will add a new variable. I will call it motor speed set point equals zero. This is the set point we want to have. And actually, wherever we are using motor speed, I will now use motor speed set point. Not here, <laughs> not not everywhere. Luckily, I've not pressed. Yeah, replace all. Was not here. Here, motor speed set, motor speed set point. Okay. Now receiving the motor speed set point. And here I will have if topic string equals slash stop command. int stop command equals receive string to int if stock stop command equals one say equals zero and if anything else we we are going to stop. All right. Where we are going to stop? I will do this in status. Yeah, here. Define status stopped. I will also clear this. I will set this. So after we return on, we will set this. Bit set status byte we are stopped. Mm -hmm. So we are stopped, this is good. And if stop command is zero, we will say uh, clear bit, bit clear, status byte. Otherwise, we say bit set. Then I will uh, mirror this back and I will publish the topic stopped. I've also uncut this. All right. Then, what do we need? we need? We need to ramp this. To ramp this, we need, we need, need a new timeout. Check, check set point ramp. And this I will set to 2000. Oh, let's say 10,000. Doesn't really matter. Does not really matter. Once we receive the new set point, we will set it to a lower value. We will also subscribe. How did I call this stop command? Okay. 
subscribe to stop command and let's make it here why not if check set point ramp wrong timed out if motor speed is not equal to motor speed set point let's define a value here let's make it every 100 milliseconds yeah. let's make it every 100 milliseconds ramp rate for set point new parameter here if read bit if we instead to stop the motor speed is zero regardless of the set point if is ramped down if we are equal I will simply publish why not every 10 seconds I will publish the motor the motor speed the current motor speed And also here we'll do this. And here we'll say check set point ramp set timeout ten seconds. Make it twenty seconds. I'll do this here again. It is sufficient. Here I say not twenty seconds, but I say Ooh, I've forgotten what was the thing I've <laughs> motor speed set point check by set timeout. If we're not equal, what do we need then? Delta This is two percent by second, let's call it. Yeah multiplied by motor speed check time but this is in milliseconds so I have divided then by 10 if this is 10 then it would be 1000 multiplied 1000 multiplied by 100 would be 100,000 so I need a long along all right 100,000 and actually what I have to add is if I want to add 10 I have to add what was the percentage with two commas two commas I have to add I have to divide by 10,000 no by 100 by 100 this should fit yeah. the set point is lower mm -hmm. I think that's it if we have timed out the check point set point ramp and the motor speed and the motor speed set point are not equal I get out of the parameters how many how many percent per seconds we have multiply this with the check time because that time has passed divided by 100 because then I have the correct value for the percentage then I calculate the actual difference between the motor speed and the set point if the set point is lower 
than the motor speed, then we do have negative difference. This means in negative difference I have to reduce. In positive difference I have to add this delta. I will set the motor speed check time in both cases to 100 milliseconds and check then in 100 milliseconds again. If the difference is already smaller than the delta value, uh, we will say smaller or equal, smaller or equal, then we will say, okay, that's it, we are, the motor speed has reached the set point and I will not check, I will only check after 20 seconds and here the same. And I will publish the current speed whenever. Hmm. Let's try. Let's try to upload this. Failed. Come on. This is wrong. As a get param two, set param two, two, one. Oh, but the subscription is wrong. What was this? Meanwhile, I will also prepare here my. MQGD dash Ooh. uploading. Good. Yeah, it's working. Motor speed. Okay, this is not this is not nice that I if I stop I will not get this so if I stop I will also set the if I get a stop I will also set the the timeout value upload I think it's working I think it's working this doesn't really make sense here this one. This one I will publish when we are connected. As soon we are connected, I'm publishing if I'm stop or not. I will publish this anyway. This doesn't make sense. Okay. I will publish this always. This should do the trick. Ah, damn it. Okay, but this gives me the opportunity to also, also post, also post the set point, motor speed set point. Publishing the motor speed. I'm publishing the value and I'm publishing the motor speed set point. This is what I'm going to do. Test. But now, but now. <laughs> it's not that easy. Everything is not that easy.
uploading now let's see let's see what is going to happen this was not one percent per second this was not one percent per second okay this was not one percent per second and went, went dropping it was too fast went dropping this should be correct what else I've noticed I've noticed something ah yeah the, the IO pin numbers I will also correct now upload once again So, what is happening here? See, we're connecting. Okay, this looks better. This looks better. This is now 1% per second. This is now 1% per second. Stop. Zero. All right. Okay, let's try it with power. Power on. Let's change the speed. Let's change the speed. It's a little bit. I'll change it to 2% per second. Let's see if this is now working better. Change it to three. change now parameter one like I would get parameter one what is the PVM resolution what is zero PVM frequency it 80 Hertz I will set the PVM frequency to I don't know faster not 80 Hertz I changed it to five now I press reset. Let's see if this sounds now a little bit more a little bit more <laughs> convenient. Let's try to go up.
I would say it works. I don't know what is happening here on the higher values. Why does Matt, Matt, Matt doing like that? But okay, then I have a Mac. Let's see what is happening if I set this to 40 or let's say 50, 50 hertz. Maybe can I, maybe I can then make full throttle. Okay, seems like this was already a pretty good idea. It's getting really windy in here. That's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. Let's see. I hope the ball floats. I hope the ball floats on this airstream. It's already pretty impressive, I must say. Ah, good. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. We are waiting now for the printout of the guidelines. Ooh, now, now I think we are going coming close to an end. Or maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.